This whole experience has changed our lives. It's changed the lives of all of our family. It's changed the lives of our community. Evie was the, the kid that was involved in everything. Um, she did everybody's work for them at school. She did all their coloring because she could stay in the lines and other kids couldn't. She started having headaches and we took her to the doctor one day thinking that, you know, she had a sinus infection and he treated her with antibiotics and after the round of antibiotics were done, she, she still, you know, was having a headache. They went and did a CT scan and he called and he said, you need to go to Birmingham. They told us the next day that she had a tumor the size of a lemon wrapped around her, her brain stem. That's really when everything changed. It was cancer. And they told us that she'd had a traumatic brain injury. And the doctor came out from surgery and told us that, you know, he wasn't real sure if she was going to make it through the first 24 to 48 hours. And for us, you know, to kind of prepare. And um, that was a hard day. I told Troy, I said, I'm not leaving without her. So I never went home. Practice. Um, it was hard on the boys because they only got to come up on weekends and she was in ICU until the middle of January and you, the boys, the kids weren't allowed to go in and see her. They let them go in and see her on, thank, on Christmas Day. That was their Christmas present was getting to be able to see their sister. When I met Miss Trudy and Mr. Lee that day up there, which, you know, I just, you know, felt something when I first laid eyes on them. And uh, after seeing my little girl come out, which I know her love for animals, and then the way she sees these dogs come around, the way she smiles, and you know, she just—I mean, that—that that to me, and it just it was a wonderful feeling. Seeing them two days of the week, every week, was you know <coughs> wonderful. I mean, they're kind of like Evie's grandparents that live in the north now, you know. <laughs> we become just a little part of the family when, when we start meeting them and, and interacting with them. We're there, we want to bring a pleasure to them, we want the child to enjoy, uh, enjoy the animal, to take some of the uh, scariness uh, out of where they are, and to enjoy playing with them. And that's, that's our whole purpose, is to bring joy to a situation that really is not very much fun. We walk all the way to the back of the treatment room and we sit up on the table with them uh, as they're getting their sedation and being put to sleep. Glory's sitting right there, usually with her paws on the child's lap. And you can see the parents, they, they light up. You can just see parents just relax because their child is not upset. Hand and paw, you know, it, we give you something to at least look forward to rather than having to go worry about, okay, we've got radiation. You know, how many more do we have to go through? You know, what's today going to be like? You know, you didn't have to worry about all that stuff because you had a dog there that, you know, they don't care what you're going through, you know. They just love you. So, anytime we talk about what she's been through, we always talk about the dogs, <laughs> don't we? Because we love the dogs. Mm hmm. And we think that every place there is, Every hospital, every clinic needs these kind of dogs because you just get that peaceful feeling when you get around them. They're so smart, they're so loving, and um, it's a great program, a wonderful program that helped us get through a really, really tough time in our lives. They are definitely God's gift, and the people that handle them are God's gift. And so you just know that <laughs> you just, you know, have these like hands wrapped around. Kind of, kind of like that.